Hello and welcome to part one of the Terraform Crash Course 2019. My name is Mike, aka The Cloud Coach. And in this part, we are going to be setting up our AWS provider. We're going to be looking at initializing our, our Terraform state and looking at validating our code. So first thing we need to do is you to provide a resource, provide a block. And we go provider. And the names, the name of the resource, is the name of the provider you wish to use. And in this case, it's simply AWS. And the AWS provider takes multiple flags, but in this case, what we want to tell it, we just want to tell it what region we're operating in. And in my case, that's Sydney. So that's Asia Pacific, Southeast 2, which is Sydney. Okay. So if we save that file, we now have technically valid Terraform state. And if we come over here, what we now have to do is we now have to tell Terraform, okay, I'm ready for you to download any code that you need to talk to those providers, in this case, AWS, uh, and start actually creating things for me. So in order to get it to do that, we have to do Terraform in it. It's a Terraform initialize, essentially. So we hit enter on that. And as you can see, if we ignore, we're going to ignore initialize in the back end for now. And we're just going to go straight to initializing provider plugins. Now that's how Terraform operates when it comes to providers. So in this case, we can see that we've pulled down provider.aws version 2.26 and our Terraform has been successfully initiated and we can actually begin working with Terraform at this point in time. So as it says there, try running Terraform plan to see if there are any changes that are required for your infrastructure. Okay, let's actually do that. We'll actually see that there's nothing. There are no changes and our infrastructure is up to date. That makes sense. We don't have anything. Another quick tip is when we're actually writing our code, we're going to validate that the syntax is correct and also that we're not referring to anything in the code that doesn't exist. For example, we're trying to create an EC2 instance and we're trying to give it an EIP that doesn't exist. So if we do Terraform validate, we'll see that at this point in time, our configuration is actually valid. So that's how you get Terraform talking to AWS. That's how you initialize the repository, initialize the state file. And that's how you validate some code. And also we saw there as well, the Terraform plan command, which we will use often in order to determine what Terraform's actually gonna do to our infrastructure before it does it, which allows us to plan ahead. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at how to create a VPC and we're gonna be using an overlook. We're gonna be looking at Terraform apply in order to see that in effect.